Hello everyone, my name is Leah Gano and today I will be discussing our research on how prenatal maternal stress can affect executive functions in early childhood. Before delving into the research, let's clarify a few key concepts. First, prenatal maternal stress refers to stress experienced by expectant mothers during pregnancy, which can stem from various sources such as psychological distress, life events, or even environmental pressures. This stress can lead to physiological changes in the mother, such as altered hormone levels and immune function, which can influence fetal brain development. This kind of stress is particularly concerning because the prenatal period is a critical window for the development of the nervous system. Additionally, executive functions are a set of cognitive processes that are crucial for the regulation of behavior and emotions. These include inhibitory control, which allows people to override impulses and distractions, working memory, which involves holding information in mind for short periods and manipulating it, <clears throat> cognitive flexibility, the ability to switch perspectives when needed, planning abilities for anticipating future events and setting goals, and visual attention, the capacity to focus on relevant visual stimuli. Executive functions begin to develop in early childhood and are foundational for school readiness and school success. They are like the air traffic control system of the brain, managing incoming information and navigating the child through complex social and cognitive interactions. Now that we know a little bit more about what prenatal maternal stress and executive functions are, I can now explain how these concepts are associated with each other. Previous research has consistently shown that prenatal maternal stress can significantly impact child development, affecting everything from motor development to psychological well-being. However, few studies have specifically examined the impact on executive functions, which includes skills essential for controlling emotions, focusing attention, and managing tasks. Given the critical role of executive functions in a child's overall development and the potential long-lasting impacts, it becomes important to understand the factors that might impair or enhance the development of these cognitive processes. To investigate this phenomenon, my study asked two main questions. First, does prenatal maternal stress predict executive functions in early childhood beyond the influence of postnatal maternal stress, child ethnicity, total household income, child negative affectivity, and child mental development. Second, does gender moderate this association? For this study, 105 expectant mothers were assessed for prenatal maternal stress using questionnaires assessing their anxiety and depression symptoms, relationship strain, and financial strain in their third trimester or time one. At the three postnatal time points, five months postpartum or time two, 18 months postpartum or time three, and five years postpartum or time four, the mothers completed the same questionnaires in addition to a parenting stress questionnaire. For the children, they completed a mental development task at time two and time three, were assessed on their negative affectivity by their mothers using a temperament questionnaire at time two, time three, and time four, and completed several executive functions tasks, including the dimensional change sort card the dimensional change card sort task, and the Tower of Hanoi task, which can be seen on the screen. The executive function task assessed the child's visual attention, cognitive flexibility, working memory, planning abilities, and inhibitory control. Lastly, mothers reported on their children's attentional focusing and inhibitory control on a temperament questionnaire at time four as well. After analysis, the findings indicate that prenatal maternal stress significantly and negatively affects inhibitory control <clears throat> and working memory in early childhood. Over and above postnatal maternal stress, child ethnicity, total household income, child negative affectivity, and child mental development. However, we found no significant effects on visual attention, cognitive flexibility, or planning abilities. Interestingly enough, gender did not modify these outcomes. Based on the scatter plot showing the association between prenatal maternal stress and inhibitory control, this means that mothers with higher prenatal maternal stress tended to have children with lower inhibitory control in early childhood, no matter the child's gender. The same can also be said for prenatal maternal stress and working memory. The implications of these findings are substantial. 
that underscored the importance of stress management interventions for expected mothers as a potential strategy to enhance developmental outcomes for their children. Additionally, by addressing prenatal maternal stress, we may be able to provide children with a better foundation for developing critical cognitive skills. I would like to thank the Hui Undergraduate Research Scholars Program for funding this research and UL Libraries for funding the printing of this paper that I will also be pre presenting in person at the 2024 Undergraduate Research Symposium. I would also like to thank my mentor, Dr. Jennifer Abbo and the McNair Scholars Program for helping me with this project. I would not have been able to do this without all their guidance and support. Well, thank you for watching this recording.